Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today. I have for you the new Pat McGrath highlighter. I am going to be doing some swatch comparisons to the latest high-end highlighters out there in the market. I will also be doing a demo, giving you my final thoughts. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about this little puppy here, then just keep watching. All right, guys, I'm so excited, beyond thrilled. As we all know, the shipping has been an absolute mess with Pat McGrath. I mean, at this point, you're almost better off always waiting for it to go to Sephora and get it in a two-day flash shipping, which I hate to say, like, I'm not trying to bash the brand at all, but, like, come on, get it together. Like, I'm... <sighs> You know that your collections are gonna be highly anticipated. You know that everybody's gonna go crazy every time there's a launch, especially a very exciting launch like this one. So anyway, I was a little bit disappointed in the shipping. I, abs I still don't have my three quads and I ordered those almost two weeks ago. So <sighs> anyway, let's just move on from there. But like, you know, I, I really do hope that the shipping gets better because we're gonna end up just resorting to buying from Sephora only. Just saying. So forget about all that, water under the bridge, let's move on. Today we're gonna talk about the new Pet McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Highlighter, Sublime Skin Highlighter or Illuminator. This puppy retails for $65 on Pat McGrath's site and I think it's available at sephora.com now too. I'll double check and make sure to leave the links of where you can buy this in the description box below. But it is just beautiful. Now. It kind of has the same, you know, theme as the Mega Mothership, which makes sense. It's from the same release, but it is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous box. Um, I can tell you that the first thing that I noticed when I picked this up out of the box is how heavy it is. It is very, very weighty. That being said, I have not opened it yet. I've only seen the pictures on Pat McGrath's site. It has a 12 month shelf life and it comes with 6.5 grams of product. So let's open it together. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. I don't even need a compact. This is so reflective. This is gorgeous, you guys. Look at that. Oh my God, that's stunning. Whoo. And the name of the shade is, I don't know if you can see this, but it's Champagne Gold. And it is just reflective. You can see everything. It's beautiful. It looks like for $65, like this alone, just the compact, just the little packaging would be worth 65 bucks. I mean, this is very, very luxe. Very, very weighty. It's again, 6.5 grams, 0.22 ounces. And this just looks like something that belongs on like you know, your vanity for sure. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, okay. So there you go, whoo. So the shade is um, Champagne Gold, and when you open it, you have to unscrew it, and the product is revealed there. Oh, so pretty. It comes with that like ribbed type of design there. So gorgeous. There's no scent, so that's great. Um, but even this portion is so heavy. Wow, I love, love, love the packaging. So, I mean, I don't know about operations or like the makeup industry or anything, but like some people were saying how she kind of like gypped us on the packaging for the Mega Mothership, but like, man, did she make up for it on this. Whew, this is beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, before we start a swatch comparison, I want to just apply it, apply it. Do a demo for you, see how it looks on my medium skin tone, and then we can go into swatch comparisons to all the latest highlighters that we've been seeing in the market. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I just wanted to bring you in a little closer. I have my base done, I have a matte bronzer, and I also have a matte blush. The brush that I will be using is my Refer number 15. This is like an oversized um, eyeshadow brush, but I like to use this especially when testing a highlighter because it gives you a very focused application of the product. You can see exactly what the product is doing. So this is the one that I'm going to use. And I probably will use a bigger brush on the other side to see how we can diffuse the product as well. So let's just go ahead and go in. Let me do a really quick swatch so that you guys can see 
wow how that looks on my skin huh okay there's the highlight I don't know why I didn't expect it to be pink actually that's beautiful though hmm very reflective do you guys see that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my refer number 15 and we're just going to apply it I can tell you that I just barely just just touched the pan I made sure it's not going too heavy Wow Whoo! look at that you guys oh my gosh that's intense Wow do you guys see that the formula feels extremely buttery very soft in the pan oh my gosh and when you're putting it on your skin it feels like skin it doesn't feel like you have powder on that's really pretty I feel like I already see a dupe though, so let's see what we find. That's really pretty. Okay, so this is very, very focused highlight there. I mean, I just, like I said, just a hair in the pan, a lot of um, payoff when you swatch it on. That's the highlight there on medium skin tone. Now, I'm going to use my Wayne Goss, the small uh, brush of the artist set artisan set artist set and I'm going to again go very lightly in the pan and this one will apply like in a more airy fashion it won't be as focused as this but let's see what that looks like okay this is definitely more subtle still looks pretty but it gives you more of like an inner like lit from within glow Do you guys see that? Look at that highlight with a more airy brush versus this one that was a lot more focused. Not as diffused and this is more like an everyday. That's gorgeous. I don't have a lot of texture um, at all, but I do feel like it's emphasizing a little bit of texture, so I do want to point that out. The color's pretty, the way that it looks on the skin, but I do feel like it's emphasizing a little bit of texture, if I'm being honest. Which, you know, we just got off of this, um, the Wayne Goss High, where the highlighters, if anything, they were blurring on the skin, which is like unheard of. It doesn't even make sense, but that's the experience I had. This one is more like a traditional highlighter, and it is showing some of my texture, I feel. It's beautiful, though. I just don't know, like, if you do struggle with a lot of texture on your skin, um, you know, how you're going to feel about the way that this reflects off of it. Let's go ahead and let's just start a comparison swatch party here. I just, I feel like it looks unique, but I do have a drugstore palette, a highlighter palette in front of me, and I feel like I see a dupe. So let's see if there is one, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use my arm here. We have a few highlighters that we're going to be swatching. Again, to the touch, the formula is, I'm swatching, you know, pretty, not rough, but I am going into the pan. The product is not falling apart on me. It's swatching nicely. There's not a lot of kick up. And this is the Pat McGrath highlighter. It really is pretty. It has a pink hue to it, so there it is. Next, we're gonna swatch, you know, the most popular, most recent highlighter before the Wayne Goss highlighters, which is the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. And let's see what that looks like there. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury, a lot more champagne-y, a lot more icy, as you can see there. The shift in the Pat McGrath is definitely a lot more pink. The next one that I want to uh, swatch next to is the Wayne Goss Bright Poppy. I know that it looks diff it looks super different in the pan, but I just want to see. I want to see what this does. So here's Wayne Goss. Okay, so definitely different. Here is the highlighter that comes with Vivid Azalea, and that's completely different. I think this is good for me too because. 
I always want to feel like I'm getting my best bang for my buck and that I'm not repeating shades in my collection. So I think this is a good exercise just to do in general. And then the last highlighter that I want to swatch is this one in the new um, Hourglass um, Ambient Palette. Let me see what we get there. That's just totally different. Oh, funny enough, it's one of the more pinkier ones. But again, the closest one is the Charlotte Tilbury, but this has the pink hue and this is more icy. So those are the newer highlights that I've added to my collection. So these are all luxury highlighters, as you can see there. Do not be offended. Do not be offended. But again, this is what the Pat McGrath highlighter looks like. Okay. I know with lights it's a little different, but I'm trying to get you the most accurate view of this highlighter. There's a drugstore highlighter palette that I uh, actually named in one of my mid-year favorites because it's just so, so good. And it is by e.l.f. This is the Glow, Gleam, and Beam palette. And the color that I feel it is most closest to is this one here at the end. So let's go ahead and here's the palette there. And then here is the Pat McGrath. Do you guys see that? So let's go ahead. I, I wiped everything off except the Pat McGrath. And <clears throat> I'm gonna swatch, I'm going to swatch these two which have the more pinkier hue to them and see how those go. So I'll swatch this one first and then this one that I feel is the closest one. Okay, so we'll do the first one right next to it on this side. So nope, very, very icy. So that's good. And then the other one that I felt most closely looked like it, holy, oh, it's not like a 100% an exact dupe, you guys, but it is super, super close. OMG, dupe alert. Oh my God, you guys, do you guys see that? This is the e.l.f. and this is the Pat McGrath. I'm talking about this one here. This is the one that I felt looked like the most like it. And that's the one here. Whoa. The similarities are striking. Like I said, not 100% a dupe, but very freaking close to it. This little palette, again, not only is the payoff really, really good, I love it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great product. Elf makes great products. This palette retails for $9.99. This one retails for $65. Um, yeah, so again, I'm just sitting here swatching away. You guys cannot argue with those results. Let's talk about my final thoughts. Okay guys, my final thoughts. Um, it is first impressions. Um, so definitely have to like, you know, play with it more, wear it more, just figure out what it's really going to perform like. Obviously the expectation is that a brand like Pat McGrath will perform very nicely. Um, a couple things that are not exactly positives. One, I do feel, especially compared to the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, the new Superstar Glow, as well as the Wayne Goss highlighters, that it does emphasize my texture a little bit. That being said, I'm not being generous with myself, but I don't have a lot of texture that I deal with, okay? So that, to, to be able to notice that right up front is kind of a pump the brakes, pump the brakes. Let's think about this a little bit more before you purchase. Second, um, that... It doesn't look like any of the high-end highlighters that I've purchased recently, so that's always very, very good news because that means that I'm not repeating the shades in my collection and especially at luxury prices. Um, and third, I mean, you guys saw it yourself. I think that we found almost an exact dupe to this highlighter with this e.l.f. Glow and Gleam palette. And again, it's it's the darkest of the shades in the palette. Um, yeah, like you can't argue with it. Like even as I'm swatching, like there's not a lot of kick up in the Pat McGrath highlighter, um, but it has more kick up than even this one. But yet this payoff is just as good. And the wearability on this is 100% guaranteed because I've tested this and worn it for six, seven months. 
Um, this, I'm not sure, but the kick up, the, it was very, pow it was not very powdery, but it was a lot more powdery than this formula. Okay. So, um, yeah, those are my final thoughts. All in all, like I'm a lover of Pat McGrath. I just think that, you know, they're amazing. Um, I hate their shipping situation recently. I hope that she can figure that out. Am I sorry that I bought this and added it to my collection? No, because although I did find a dupe with a drugstore product, I didn't have a high-end dupe. And I do love the experience of luxury beauty. So I will say like, I don't care if I found a dupe, I still am very, very happy that I have this. So something to think about. The Sephora sale is coming where you will save 10, 15 or 20%. So there's no need to run and buy this. And another thing is, if you really wanted, wanted that color that we find in this highlighter, but you didn't want to pay the prices, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't get mad at me. I'm just saying. So I hope that this swatch comparison as well as demo was helpful to you. That's what I aim to do. Like I love makeup. I love beauty and skincare and all of that. But when I rush to get products, it's because I want to be able to provide a valuable feedback for you before you make your purchasing decisions. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, give me a like, make sure you subscribe and come hang out with us. We have a really great time. We have a ton of new holiday releases on my channel. I'm just, I can't help myself. So if you want to see them first, before you decide I'm putting together your wish list for Santa, or you're just trying to see what you want to per pick up during the Sephora sale, definitely subscribe. Um, again, Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. I am going to be bringing the three Pat McGrath quads in a very fun series of videos. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.